hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel as you can see today it's not me it's my friend adiola and she's going to be my model today today i'm doing a radiant makeup look with a beautiful red lip if you're interested keep watching in order to achieve radiant skin the most important thing is skincare her face has already been cleansed and to her cleansed skin i'm going to start with the dr jart ceramidine liquid toner this is great as it's going to give some much needed hydration to her skin once this is settled in i'm going to go in with the peter roth thomas water drench moisturizing cream this is a water cream as you may be able to tell from the name and i'm using this because it sinks right into the skin and not sit on the surface this will make application easier because the products are not going to be slipping and sliding so to seal that in i'm going to be going in with sweet almond oil I love this because it's non-comedogenic and it's an oil that actually sinks into the skin. You may notice a common theme here. I love products that sink into the skin for my makeup prep. It makes the whole thing much better. And I'm just giving her a little face massage and you see she loves that. <laughs> so once everything settled into the skin, I'm going to go in with the NARS Tinted Glow Booster in the shade Barbuda. As the name states, this will also help boost her glow lol for foundation i'm using the nars natural radiant foundation and i'm applying that with the same stippling brush i used to apply the tinted glow booster i'm applying that with very soft strokes because that gives a very nice flawless look So once that's applied, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and I'm just going to push all of that foundation into her skin and take off the excess. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Tan and I'm applying that under her eyes above her cheekbones. Her cheekbones start from there so I'm going to keep the product right there. I'm also applying some concealer to her forehead, the bridge of her nose her chin and her upper lip. This would help make the lips I'm doing even bolder. After letting it sit a little bit, I'm going to blend it in with this angled flat brush from Real Techniques. And as you can see, I'm pressing that concealer into her face and elongating her under eye. You can see I'm blending that concealer into her nose. This is so there's no harsh lines and it gives a very natural looking highlighted center of her face. So I'm just blending all of that out and I'm going to take the concealer towards the inner corner of her eyes. For contour, I'm using the Kevin O'Quinn Skin Enhancer Concealer in shade SX16 and I'm applying it this way to cup her cheek. I'm applying that contour to where her brow bone meets her nose and that's to give a very soft nose contour. She also doesn't need jaw contouring, she has a very defined jaw. So I'm just taking a beauty blender to blend that out. I am pressing and rolling the product upwards to give that chiseled effect. So I'm just pressing and rolling that product upwards so it sits on her cheekbones right where it needs to. I'm blending the nose contour into her eye socket. This gives a natural look because trust me, blending your contour down does not look nice in real life. You see, you don't need too much product. Everything is cohesive without any points standing out even though it's highlighted and contoured so for powder cohesive. i'm using the laura mercier translucent powder and i'm just going to press that into the skin i like to use enough powder under the eyes because i like for that to be a focal point in the makeup not too much though so i'm also going to set the rest of her highlight but using less powder and you can see that contour on her nose looks contoured but not too defined so i'm using a tapered fluffy brush to blend out her under eyes and her face i'm using a very light touch this gives a blurred effect so less pressure when blending out powder for contour i'm using this fluffy fan brush that i love so much you can see the silver tape and i'm using the fenty beauty sun stalker in thick mint i'm just placing that where i put the contour previously I'm also applying that with a light stroke, but not too light. And with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to bring that down the bridge of her nose. 
just like that i'm just going to do her brows then finish up the rest of her face this is the morphe micro brow pencil in chocolate mousse and i'm just starting from the middle of her brow downwards to the tip and i'm doing the same thing on the upper brow from like an inch from the front of her brow i'm also taking those light strokes and as you can see she was dozing off here i had to hold her head in place so i'm just filling that brow in gently now i'm moving towards the front and just giving that a brush up to brush all that product in and i'm doing the same on the second side Finishing up with a brow gel starting from the tip of her brows because the brush is concentrated and I don't want too much product on the, you know, the front of her brows. I'm just going in with the tiniest bit of concealer on this fluffy flat brush and I'm just cleaning up under her brows. I'm just taking the P. Louise eyeshadow base in rumor 6 and I'm placing that all over her eyelids. I'm going to set that with powder and we can begin. I'm taking the Kiko Milano Instant Color Matte Lipstick in the shade Rosy Chestnut and that's my eyeshadow for today. I'm placing that on her lid with a fluffy synthetic brush and I'm just gently brushing that out. I'm using my fingers to blend out the corners and elongate her eyes. From the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction Palette I'm taking the shade Guilty Pleasure and I'm just placing that on her eyelid. I find using my finger is much more effective. Taking that liquid lip again, I'm placing that under her eyes and blending it outwards to, you know, elongate her eyes once again. This was so funny. I was like, why are you looking at me? I'm like, I'm just trying to open my eyes. That was, that was so funny. Taking a dense pointy brush, I'm just blending all of that out. So now I'm just applying a smoky black eye pencil to the upper lash line and I'm going to smoke this out to just give a nice, you know, smoked out look. I added some more of that Guilty Pleasure shade to blend everything out. So I just applied some lashes off camera, very natural lashes and i'm applying mascara to both her natural lash and the fake lash just to give a very natural look i'm setting the rest of her face with mac mineralized skin finish powder and i'm just going in with a little bit of bronzer on her forehead i don't like using contour because it's usually very harsh blush i'm doing a bit of an ombre blush i'm using the fenty beauty cheeks out cream blush in daiquiri dip and I'm applying that with a paddle brush. To ombre that out, I'm using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Blush in Paradise Venus and this angled fluffy brush. And that is beautiful. I'm just using the Beauty Blender to, you know, blend them into each other so everything is ombre. I'm using a cool black liner to line her lips just to intensify that red. And I'm blending it out with a lip brush. The red lipstick I'm using is the Pat McGrath sedition lipstick and i'm applying that first then blending it out with a lip brush so once that's all blended in i'm finishing up with morphe's continuous setting mist and before the face dries i'm applying a black radiance gold highlighter i'm just quickly going to curl her hair and we're going to be back so this is the final look and i absolutely love it her skin is glowing from within, which is what you're going for with a radiant look. You don't want to just be covered in highlighter. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, you know, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.